traveler, Paimon Sitlali. Oh, really? That's cr- Oh, uh, all of his grannies- uh, Calm down, Paimon. <sighs> so the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley line. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish- Is reconstruct- Yes. It's not a simple fix. It would mean sacrificing nearly everything contained within- If he activates the mechanism, it's all over. But what forces- Kanich, Shilonen, you two, and myself. All other- But that's barely any people! That won't help us with the captain, I'm afraid. In any case, the masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Seat Lolly, I was- All right. I understand. Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure some- I'll leave him to you all then. <sighs> all right. Let me grab Shilonen and Kanich. As you all know, Aro the captain is a formidable opponent. Their plan hinges. We'll head out together. I agree with Kanich. Th Listen to my plan first. Kanich, I want you and Ahau to launch an assault. The captain won't be on the front lines. As a seasoned warrior, he'll be stationed in close proximity no. The purpose of the frontalist, Shilonen. I need you to do what your tribe does best, and dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. Once we get close to the divide. Exactly. The trap. No one can create a distraction better than you. Understood. Then we sh Just promise us you won't do anything reckless. You, you mean everything to us. Losing you would be the worst pot. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. All right, this is the place. Any of the nearby mountains could... There are only a few for two... the mountain. What do you think, Shilonen? Is this a good spot? Yeah, looks good. I can see the inside! Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. All right. Please. Tui wouldn't concentrate all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, nice job smashing those rocks, Malika. You look super cool. Ah, that was some expert level rock clearing. Even by my tribe standards. That must be the Fatui tunnel over there. We should steer clear and approach from the side. <sighs> this 
spell is from the Masters of the Nightwind. <laughs> These wheels are relics from ancient times. We should try to restore them. Mechanisms probably control that wheel, right? Let's give them a try! Illusion shattered. One with nature. Captain's here too. <laughs> oh, they're here. Huh. I thought the pirate. Doesn't matter. They're too late anyway. Stop! It's too late. We need to turn it off. I won't let you do this. <gasps> wrong hmm. <laughs> you are
are not a Roron. Who are you? Uh, what? <laughs> Commander. You. So, you still recognize me, Commander? I'm glad. Although, I believe you have... We did it! <laughs> you see? You indulge your sense of honor for just a moment. His voice is completely different. Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their loss. Please finish what you set out to do. Com I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it. He's already... After all, his soul has been incomplete. <laughs> Oh, someone said I'm close to death. Is it what's down there? That uh, ah, Aurora, it's you. What? Oh, oh, I, I. Savior? Aurora, can I get you anything else? What about those spiced rub mushrooms you made me last time, Granny Kuimi? Nah, you liked those. Did Never thought about go. Our Auroron? A merchant? Well, at least an honest merchant like him wouldn't prey on old timer. Hmm, everyone said a true savior. Maybe I don't. If I had succeeded back then. Done spacing out, Auroron? Yes, Granny. <laughs> of course. Because. Uh, you could. <laughs> uh, anyway, class is canceled tomorrow. What about my homework then? Uh, do what you want. What use is it being as strong as me anyway? You've seen how the tr uh, take it from me. The Granny didn't say it outright, but I think she was trying to comfort me. But I never. Hey, you zoning out over here again? I was just looking at the aphids. Something interesting about that? Uh, I noticed. Bummer. Guess that means less. Aoife, do you th Fun. <laughs> I'm not sure about- Fun enough, I guess. I don't have it- Exactly. Oh, jeez. That troublemaker's at- Why should I? I thought being a vet was- Well, <laughs> I guess there is a fun part. Trying to outsmart these rascals. Maybe Aoife was just too nice to tell me the truth. That attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. My soul is unstable. Part of me has always been. Why struggle? It's a miracle you were even born. Just close your eyes and wait. It was you, the thing that came. Thing? I'm a warrior. I'm not weak. And that's exactly why you're fat. You s savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? Exactly. Most people live like that. No. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are- But I don't want things to end- Auroron? It's all right. We'll take things from here. Every time they marched into battle, I had- Don't worry. With the- All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines. Both of us are bound to disappear. But your end will come sooner than mine. Because you- Once your soul shatters into pieces and dissipates into the wind, I will take temporary control. No. My end will not come first, and I am not giving up! I can't die here, no! I won't die here! Aurora! Aurora! <sighs> Control your mind. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Mm. Well done. Uh -huh. Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. <sighs> I can't believe the cap. Maybe he thinks of Auroran as a comrade. 
Oh, I... Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but you met The worst appears to be over. Mm. Um, we can talk about that. Our plan. I'm sorry. You saved my life. And now, the debt is repaid. Auroron, I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice yourself in that ceremony. But you ne I just want an answer. No one is born a hero. The answer you seek... <gasps> you are the inheritor of my name. The hero from the masters of the Nightwind, who shall fight for this generation. Fascinating. You are not the person that the others thought you were. And yet, like you, I never thought I had what it now. Remember your name. Even if others will see a different meaning, it's my ancient name. BD. It means devotion. You will give your all, not for the sake of a heroic death, but to do justice by the answer you found. For that answer, you will offer all of your strength and be born anew, having foretold his own death. The omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism, for at last, his wish is now fulfilled. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Sanhaj. With your recognition, we now have the fifth hero of this era. <sighs> I am happy to see your plan advance one step further. It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. What? Uh, what is that voice? Just as I thought. The Lord of the Night has awakened. The Lord of the Night? As in the one- I preside over a realm of souls. Due to my limited power, Sleep is the only way I can extend. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. Most of you are unaffected because your souls are intact. But, and yet, his soul remains in one piece. He managed to overcome this obstacle through sheer strength of will. A truly impressive feat for a human. So, was that what caused all his strange behavior? No. An additional soul was affected. It tried to take- However, this soul does not hail from that land. Or- Activating the source mechanism was supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. Because I was the one who originally constructed Natland's ley lines. Otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragons destroyed the corner of the world, allowing the Abyss to invade. Natland's ley lines took the worst of the damage. To aid the people of Natland, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old ley lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. The first Pyro Archon, Shibalonke, strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss, the Ode of Resurrection, and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Oh, right! You said before it all came from the power of the heavens! The ancient dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines by imbuing them with power. Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lacked the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. And now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I am the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power, such as rebuilding the ley lines once more. At the cost. 
cost of my own existence. But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? The people of Natlan worship me and call me their lord. In the ancient past, before we died out, we were also known by a different name. Angels. But adventurers like you are probably more familiar with our devolved form. Seelies. No wonder there are Seelies around here. A Seelie also helped us in the Night Kingdom! Few angels remain in that land. So the same is true of Seelies. Everyone rallied around me and offered their power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. Now, I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival, and I have become your faith. I am very pleased. Moika, inheritor of Shibalonke's will, and leader of Naplan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I have awoken, and the efforts of this harbinger and the young hero have imbued me with power. Say the word, and I will once again work to fulfill my mandate, just as I did thousands of years ago. You need only nod your head. For the sake of your people, I will not. After reconstructing new ley lines, you will cease to exist. The rules of Natlan are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. Not to mention, all the memories and legends recorded within the old ley lines will disappear along with you. The people of Natlan will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Just like the consequences of using the Gnosis, that is a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once and when the new ley lines are invaded again by the Abyss? What then? A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed. You presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no What will it take for you to realize that? How many hundreds? The situation hasn't gotten that dire yet. Why? Because I am a survivor of Conria. I've witnessed the devastation and terror of the Abyss with my own eyes. <sighs> Conria? That's right. My family. My comrades. My homeland. We're all lost to the Abyss. It is an unforgettable pain. One that no amount of time could ever dull. Not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. You should know exactly what I mean. You're right. The pain, the regret, the catastrophe. They all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You have that chance before you now- Because we don't have the right to make that decision! We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. Giving up our memories and history would mean rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings, their physical bodies the only connection to their former selves. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish. If you believe in- Or- History could repeat itself. The Abyss could invade once more. Can I say something? I once carried the hopes of many people, and I was also desperate to save, but as I was on the brink of death, my wish for life and purpose was rekindled. I've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people in my life. I refuse to forget that. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our- That's right. Natland's heroes gave their lives so we could have this chance against the Abyss. Th Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. Yeah, we're just one hero short! The power from the device will allow me to remain awake for some time. I stand at the ready should you change your mind. Even if you fail.
fail. You need only send someone my way. Humanity is truly remarkable. Even the gods in the heavens hold you to be special. Even now, you stand before me, dazzling, like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect? The land, or its people? Hmm. Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. Fine. I suppose we can wait. Now that Auroron has inherited your plan, does have the potential to generate the best outcome. In the meantime, you shall have the aid of all the Fatui under my command. Thank you. Having such a powerful Harbinger on my side is a big advantage. I know we may never completely see eye to eye on what it means to protect life. But for now, I'm willing to fight by your side. All right, we should, uh, let everyone else- Good idea! We need to explain the situation- Oh! Guess what- I'll update everyone outside. Let- You come to me with many questions. And you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek. They do not like being mentioned by name by any living being, be it an ordinary human or one of the seven. They prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. The one you wish to know about? I call her the Ruler of Death. She helped Naplan establish the rules. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. It was an expression of love, as well as an act of reparation. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which quite displeased the almighty... <sighs> ...heavenly principles. She succumbed to self-pity as a result, and no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Even so, her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self-pity? Please don't tell anyone I use that word. I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. You come to me with many questions. I'm not familiar with that concept. The device is capable of weaving and creating ley lines, you say? Even I cannot create something from nothing. I can only reconstruct the ley lines by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. If that power were available to the people of Natlan, they might have an... You come to me with many questions. Phlogiston is to that primordial form of energy. The heavenly principles used phlogiston as a basis for the creation of elemental energy to develop a power to better counter the Abyss. Have you heard of the concepts of the Light Realm and the Human Realm? Mm. Light refracts into seven different colors, which we collectively refer to as a rainbow. You come to me with many questions. Ah, yes, yes. The artisan from the Children of Echoes has yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Nightwind is absent. No matter. I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. Young girl? What? Did I say something wrong? You come to me with many questions. 